Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ron and I am a Detroit-based flight attendant. I vlog about my daily life as a flight attendant, so if you want to stay updated, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell right next to it so you never miss a video. In this video, I want to kind of go over how I became a flight attendant, what I do, and how you can do it too if it's what you're interested in. I started my morning at about 5 a.m. We had three legs, which which means three flights. We went from Newark, New Jersey, back to Minneapolis, and then we went from Minneapolis to Winnipeg, and Winnipeg back to Minneapolis. And now I am on my layover in Minneapolis for about 23 hours. So to start off, I've been in customer service my most of my life. I was a barista before this for about three, three and a half years. And while I was there, I did like it. I did, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the people I worked with. I loved coming into work, but I just wanted a change. I wanted a big change in my life, but I wasn't sure what that change should be. One day while I was at work, one of my friends who works with me had told me she landed another job and she was leaving us and I was kind of upset, but I was kind of curious as to what she was doing. So when I got home that night, I started doing a ton of research. I researched for days on this career, on the flight attendant career. I was kind of curious. I looked at what they, what flight attendants do, what their day consists of all kinds of different things. So I found this website called flightattendantcareers.com. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure you go check it out. It shows a list of all the airlines that are currently hiring for flight attendants. I started going down the list and started applying to all the airlines that I wanted to apply to. About a week later, I started getting my emails back from the airlines that I applied to. Went through several different interviews. And I'll explain that in just a second. I ended up getting rejected from about four or five different airlines before I landed the job with the one I'm at now. With the one I'm at now, I got a response within about two, three weeks asking me to come to an open session. Now in the open session, it'll probably be within your hometown or a little farther. In my personal experience, it was in my hometown. I brought with me a couple copies of my resume I dressed to the nines, I wore a full suit, make sure I was clean cut. I made sure to research the airline that I applied to just so I was fully prepared for the questions I was gonna ask and for the presentation that I had to give. Cause I know that at my open interview that we had to give a presentation. I made sure I was fully prepared for that. So depending on which city your open session is in, there might be just a few people to hundreds of people. So you wanna make sure you stand up. You wanna show the recruiters why they should pick you over all the other applicants that are standing in the same room. So like I said, you wanna make sure you're prepared. So all you need to apply to any of the airlines is a customer service background, a high school diploma or a GED, and a clean background. So when you make it to your face-to-face -face interview, whenever that is, you're going to be asked questions about responsibility, is safety your priority, if you want to relocate. And so after my face-to-face -face interview, about a few days later to a week later, I was invited to come to ground school, to come to training for my current airline, which I was in training for about, I want to say five to six weeks. You're going to learn everything from CPR, first aid, fires, evacuations, everything that's safety related things you hope never have to happen on a flight. When I came to training, I gave it my all, 110%. I made sure that this is what I wanted to do and I didn't want to go back to what I was doing before. So it could be a long, grueling experience, but it is worth it in the end if you give it your best. And I think that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram, Facebook. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me a message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I will put the link to the flight attendant careers website in my description so don't forget to check that out good luck to you guys and i will see you guys on the